leaders that were watching. This is raw, unedited video just sent via satellite. picture you were just seeing is Christy McCullough's parents watching in horror. These are the students from her school. Many of them probably had their view blocked just as we did with the television cameras with just a huge fireball and a huge cloud of smoke. They may not realize yet what has happened. You see concern etched on their faces. The breath that they've been holding released. And then the realization sets in that something is wrong. At that point, all that remained was... Flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. Edward and Grace Corrigan. They were about three and a half miles away from the area of the launch pad in the VIP launch area. Families of the astronauts normally in the grandstands. Tom, as John Zarella pointed out from the Cape earlier, when um, all of us first saw the blast, uh, there was a moment of, of stunned silence and disbelief. Uh, many people perhaps did confuse it with the, um, is it the booster rockets? The solid rocket booster separation, which but it was really, a little later. It was, it was far too, too early. early and far too big an explosion. And it took a while, I'm sure, for it to sink in in the minds of, of the parents and the school children. There you see Mr. and Mrs. Corrigan still standing saying a silent prayer. Those are Christian McCullough's parents. It's Edward and Grace Corrigan. Mrs. Corrigan had said in an earlier interview with CNN that she would be thrilled to be the one to be up there herself. That she once took flying lessons just because she liked the adventure of it. They'd always encouraged their daughter to be adventurous and to go for it, in her words. Tom, the area that we were just watching, the bleachers where people were watching and photographing the launch, who was allowed in there? That is the VIP section, invited guests for this launch. I myself received an invitation from Michael Smith, who was the pilot on this flight, to sit in these same bleachers and to watch his launch. Michael Smith has been a guest here on CNN before on our launch coverage and sent me a special invitation to go. That would then include family members of the astronauts, friends? It, it includes family members. I understand there was a delegation of, from China of 100 people, school children from New Hampshire.
Challenger's pilot, as Tom just said, was Mike Smith, 40 years old. He was a commander in the U.S. Navy. He's from Beaufort, North Carolina, a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy. He served in Vietnam, is married, and has three children. And we had an interview with him here on CNN back in July. Let's play that for you. Heather, as an initial reaction, what do you think went wrong? It's difficult to say, Alistair. I've looked at the pictures and I've seen the slowed down version as well. Um, it looks to me initially as if something went wrong with the shuttle itself. If you look at the pictures in slow motion, it looks as if the right hand engine of the shuttle itself exploded. You could see a tongue of flame coming out of it. That is right over the liquid oxygen fuel tank which which feeds the liquid oxygen from that enormous tank the big brown tank that you see lifting off with shuttle into the shuttle itself so an explosion would have ignited the liquid oxygen and that would have led to an, imme an immediate explosion of the whole assembly and I think as you saw the whole of Challenger was just engulfed by flame um, nobody would have stood a chance that central tank you were describing is as I understand it liquid fuel and would that have explained the flash fire that we saw in those pictures. Yes, absolutely. Um, you probably saw at the same time, again, if you look at the a replay of the, uh, the film, the two solid fuel boosters, which gives shuttle such a tremendous thrust on, on takeoff, they were actually ejected after that happened. The, the interesting point about it is that the, the explosion occurred at no specific state during the, the shuttle countdown. It wasn't when they should have ejected the solid fuel boosters. It happened one minute, 15 seconds into launch. And it's not clear what happened, except there does seem to have been a fault in in the, the uh, shuttle, shuttle's own motors, its own engines. But again, I think we'll have to look at the videos again and see what wreckage is left.